gentlemen welcome back to the channel well quite a long time without a video and I have to confess I'm quite I'm quite stuck here I have my Ford dealership diorama that's stuck for about two months and I also have the 57 Chevy in 112 scale I have to build for my cousin that's also stuck and I seem to be unable to unstuck things so I had a brilliant idea what about starting a new build to get that fresh air we need to reanimate this building gods and help them to be in the mood to help me actually start building again so I picked a couple of those kits here this baby is the Revell 1948 Ford Police Coupe in one it's basically basically the Revell convertible 48 Ford with a different body and some added parts to initially make it and turn it into a police car and thank modeling gods we can actually build a factory stock 48 Ford something that was impossible before if you didn't want to hassle around with the testers kit that is in fact a rerun of that very old friend of ours the IMC kit from the 60s with the multi-part body and I have one of those built if you take a look on, on on my videos you'll be able to find that 48 Ford build well anyway this kit is kind of awesome it has lots of cool parts the modeling shop I bought it here here in Brazil even sent me a little well I can't find it right now but it is Laura hobby modelism dot on dot br and they sent me a pin that I can't wa I can't find right now Well, if you had the convertible kit, you'll notice there are some subtle modifications on the sides here, on the interior. You also has have a police radio. The frame is quite the same, with lots of little parts, separate bumper uh, supports and you even have two batteries one modern battery for a 12 volt system that's remaining of another edition of this kit I believe it's a it's a street road version of the convertible where you could adapt a 12 volt battery on a more modern engine and the stock 6 volt battery you also have suspension parts and the rear end that's in two parts, the radiator that's in two parts, the flat head V8 that's the heart of the car. You have some more little parts, another bumper supports here. The, book sh the, the bug shields for the rear 
uh, fenders. You have another chassis part, the dash, steering column and steering box and the rear pan of the brakes. You have the stock wheels only, thank god, and the more stock parts for the flathead V8 and of course the glass. The glass goes installed from inside the body. You can see that's missing one here, one vent here and one rear window here that I already cut out to dry fit on the body. To see if I would have to sand the body a little in order to make those parts fit after the paint has been applied. Here you can see some chrome parts, more more police stuff with the exception of the rear view mirror and here the normal chrome parts for the 48 Ford and I'm going to bet this little tree here is exactly the same as released in the 1998 edition of the 48 Ford as those parts are the same used on the convertible. You have also on this kit a plus that I'm going to show you guys with more detail here because I thought they were fantastic. You have actually those a temple temple printed tires that that are quite good. Temple printed tires. Well, the white wall is in the wrong side because it should be on the side with the markings for the tire manufacturer. But hey, those tires have no markings for tire manufacturer. So Revell is back to Soviet style tires. It must be something about licensing. Because in other kits and other editions, previous editions of the 48 Ford convertible, those tires are actually good ears. And they are the same. Only the good ear name is missing. The flying foot is missing and they try to compensate by giving us those temple printed white walls and let's be honest this temple printed white walls are quite good they are well centered on the tires and for sure I'm going to be using them as the first installment on the actual build of this 48 Ford I would like to share my thoughts about the most important part, the body. The body looks to be very very accurate to the rear car. Some modelers thought the roof to be too flat and not quite uh, representative of what Ford had on the real deal. But I compared the body with a real 1-1 one -one scale 1948 Ford sedan coupe and it is spot on. So kudos to Revell for making this body really really nice. I can't praise those, this body enough because it's very accurate. And Thumbs up, Revell. Well, first thing I did to the body was to send a mold line that was through that went through the trunk. I glued on the back lights, the tail lights. Sorry, I glued on the tail lights because it's easier to paint the car this way. 
and there are less chances of oops happening when gluing the tail lights afterwards. I also drilled a little hole here because on the real car there is a, a little hole here for the hood hing and I glued in place the firewall. I used a little reinforcement here to keep this firewall, firewall well glued in place because it's a key point on aligning the final build and I'll show you guys why in a minute. Here we, here we have the floor pans and this part here is exactly the same floor pan uh, used on the 48 Ford convertible so it is uh, zero investment in tooling making this part here I sanded the reveal name that was here and here on the back I already sanded the the reveal the made in China and all that stuff that would be quite odd looking on the bottom of the car the hood I already drilled those little holes these two little holes here that will be the attachment holes holes for the chrome emblem that goes here also already glued the what would be the hood hangers because it's a lot easier to glue them now and actually use them to hold the hood while painting and here you have the interior thud and yeah this is a new part it's different from the convertible and I'm going to show you guys why aligning the firewall now was so important if you take a look on the body you'll see this little part here the button of the interior goes here on the firewall and on excuse me good and on these two little pins here so it has to go on the pins and it has to go on the firewall After that is in place, you'll have to put the floor pans here. And this will be the main way to attach the actual frame and mechanical components to the body. Using all this area on this area here to glue this part to the interior tub that will be already glued to the body so you'll have a very strong attachment between the body and the chassis once this all is done you can carefully the chassis and you have a very stable base for the chassis and take a look how on how well this hood gets on almost no gap see we had a very 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 slight molding release line here here 
and on the other side also here here going through here here and now also on this side going here and it was very faint you have to pay attention to send those so this is what I discovered about the final build of this kit only by doing a very careful study of the instructions and some dry fitting I always always say and always will say please dry fit don't get don't get in the mood to just start gluing things in place without dry fitting you will have in deep trouble dry fit the parts guys so you won't ruin your paint after you already dedicated a lot of time painting the model oh and I couldn't leave the decal shit off the decal shit is very nice. It has all the police stuff. Plus, here on the corner, it has what I really want. And those, my friends, are the gouges on the dash. The decal that goes on the oil filter. The production tag that goes on the firewall, the instruments, everything you need. Basically, I will be using this part of the decal shit. I won't be using license plates because I always make my own. So, all this police stuff I won't be using. What is a pity, but. I'm not into building police cars. Well, guys, this Ford here that I'm starting, I'm starting today. Everything you you see done here, I did today. Will be my last build for 2016, and at the same time, my first. For 2017 and I hope that this one makes me more in the mood to finish my diorama that is catching dust on the corner of my shop and to finish my cousin's 57 Chevy before he gets crazy and kills himself waiting for me <laughs> just kidding well guys, stay tuned for future and um, for future installments on the build of this beautiful 48 Ford that of course will be a hundred percent factory stock and will be painted black. Well, why black? Well, I love black and a 48 Ford in my mind is a black car here on the box you can see on the box art they have a maroon factory stock it's a beauty I love it love the maroon but take a look on the police car on the black parts that is a proper 48 Ford a proper 48 Ford has to be black it's my opinion on the car sorry guys but please paint your Fords the color you want mine will be black and I hope that on my next installment of this kit I have I'll have the body painted and I'm going to show you guys the beginnings of the chassis of the chassis build so 
let's get to work and start this Revell 48 Ford sedan coupe and pay attention it's not a coupe it's a sedan coupe it's a completely different body style the real coupe has a very small front door and the roof is not ass to the back and is a car without a rear seat so this is not a coupe this is a sedan coupe please reveal I, if I were you I would fix this well guys thanks a lot for, a lot for watching and bye bye